In this video, we'll answer some frequently asked questions about the Blaze Cast Aluminum Kamado. Because this is the first aluminum Kamado on the market, a lot of people wonder how well the aluminum will retain heat. To test this, we loaded the Blaze Kamado with 10 pounds of natural lump charcoal. This will fill it to where the middle grate sits, which is where you would place a heat deflector for a low and slow smoking setup. At 9.30 a.m. on day one, the Blaze Kamado was preheated and cruising at 250 degrees. The thick cast aluminum body of the Blaze Kamado retains heat so well that it was able to burn through the night and into day two without having to add any charcoal. This heat retention and stability makes the Blaze Kamado great for smoking something like brisket overnight without having to worry about babysitting it. In addition to low and slow style cooking, the ability for aluminum to spread and retain heat works great for high heat searing as well. On day two, the Blaze Kamado steadily burned until 1.15 p.m. and at this point the temperature started to fall towards the 200 degree mark. We closed the top and bottom damper so that we could see if there was any charcoal left. After the Blaze Kamado burned for 27 and 3 4 hours, the leftover charcoal weighed in at 2 pounds. How heavy is the Blaze Kamado? It weighs in at 161 pounds, which means you can move it with the help of a friend to take it somewhere like tailgating. Its durable aluminum build means there's no worry of cracking from transport as with ceramic style Kamado grills. Will the Kamado reach melting temperatures while cooking? The short answer is no. In this test, we have a sample of the Blaze Kamado's aluminum clamped with an acetylene oxygen cutting torch burning on it. This type of cutting torch burns at around 6,300 degrees Fahrenheit. After five minutes and five seconds, the average temperature of the metal sample was maxing out our infrared thermometer at above 1,200 degrees, well above ambient temperatures you'll be cooking at. It actually took five minutes and 26 seconds for the portion under the 6,300 degree flame to begin to melt. We allowed the torch to continue burning for a total of about 20 minutes to show you how the Kamado sample retains its shape well above 1200 degrees. At this point, we removed the section of aluminum from the cutting torch and hit it with a hammer to show you how solid the aluminum sample still is at high heat. Does the exterior of the Blaze Kamado get hot? Much like the outside of a ceramic Kamado or a stainless steel gas grill, the exterior of the Kamado will get hot to the touch. When it comes to building the Blaze Kamado into an outdoor kitchen, follow the same rules of thumb as you would when building in something like a gas grill. Don't place your grill directly in contact with combustible materials. How easy is it to clean the Blaze Kamado? Cleaning is very simple because of the removable stainless steel ash pan on the base of the Kamado. Simply lift out any debris and dump the pan. You can also easily rake the ashes out of the bottom damper door if you prefer that method. 